it, eh? Emoji are broken. They saturate social media and yet they are absolutely rife with potential for miscommunication. This is a crying face. That one's pretty simple, right? The others, not, not so much. So, because computers, there's this thing called the internet, people need to communicate with each other. People in Russian need to communi communicate to other people in Russian. So there's this thing called Unicode. Every single character for every single language you can think of, which works. Mostly. Most of the people around the world can send documents to each other and things come out right the other side. They don't come out garbled. There's a bit of a problem though. When, emo when emoji happened in Japan, the Japanese wanted emoji in Unicode. They have hiragana, they have katakana, they have kanji. But they also have these really cute little icons that they were sending to each other through SMS mobile services back in the 1990s. And these are really, really cute pictures and they wanted to send them all around the world. Who wouldn't want to send a picture of a penguin? But these aren't pictures, these are points relating to pictures, so you can't just send a picture because SMS. So Apple, when they wanted to release the iPhone in Japan, added emoji. And so we recognise all these emoji, we know what these mean. There have been several releases of Unicode since 2010. So we have a whole lot more emoji now than what we once did. We've got unicorns, we've got tacos, we've got hot dogs, we've got robots, we've got the devil horns, we've got Vulcan signs, we have so many emoji. But they keep on getting misused. <laughs> and this is a problem. Because when you've got little tiny symbols and you can't read what they say, then what are they supposed to mean? And the problem with this is Android. Android was really quick to copy Apple. What Android did is they rushed their implementation. If you've got an iPhone, you're pretty good. If you've got an Android, not so much. So, love hearts. The spec says that the yellow love heart is supposed to be yellow. The speckles there is supposed to relate to heraldy shields from the Middle Ages, and that's supposed to be gold. Gold, not dots, gold. Android balls it up. <laughs> if you're sending a yellow heart to someone from an iPhone to an Android, it would come up as something that looks like testicles. Let's just face it. <laughs> and it's not just that, because depending on which platform you're using, the emoji will look weird. This is supposed to be flushed. Depending on which platform you're on, it might be, oh, I stuffed up, as opposed to, aw. And this is the problem, because if you're using the wrong one, people are gonna misinterpret what you're saying. This, it's supposed to be hugging, not jazz hands. <laughs> Only the one on the end looks similar to somebody who might be actually trying to give you a hug. And it just keeps on going on, because the next one, we know how to clap, right? You put your thumbs together and you clap. The one on the right, the thumbs are the, the wrong way round. And have you ever tried clapping like that? Go on, try. You can give me a proper round of applause later, it's fine. But this is the problem because when the glyphs look wrong, how are you supposed to know? This is supposed to be blonde. I, I, I have no idea. Um, but this is the thing, these are just some select examples and if you're not using the same platform as the other person, there's gonna be issues. And it's really confusing, especially because these are all question marks. <laughs> the one on the end is what Facebook had as, a, had as a question mark until last week. That's not a question mark for those playing at home. So, there are scientific papers that prove that people get this wrong all the time. The first two there are completely different. That's supposed to be grinning versus grimacing. And who hasn't had an aunt that's accidentally said, I'm sorry about your cat, tears of joy. <laughs> However, as of yesterday, we now have all these new emoji that we can play around with and get wrong, including the egg, because the chicken has been in emoji for five years now, so now we know which came first. <laughs> and such timeless classics as the face palm and the selfie. So that's great. And Facebook, about a fortnight ago now, changed all their emoji anyway. So now you've got to reteach your aunts how to actually send the right emoji to someone. And I, I don't like the new ones, they look really weird. But people can redo their emoji all the time. This is the exact same picture from different versions of Android. The context and what you assume just by looking at those keeps changing. 
And so, of course, people are going to miscommunicate. Of course, people are going to get it wrong. But you know what the great thing is? They're still English. <laughs> if you want to use emoji, go ahead. But if people get confused, use words. <laughs> Thank you.